Welcome to Everything You Wanted to Know About Catholic Liturgy But Were Afraid to Ask. My name is Bishop Christopher Coyne, and many of these questions come out of my meeting people, my receiving emails, my receiving texts, and the answers, I hope, come out of not only being a bishop, but also my background in the teaching of liturgy and in the study of liturgy. So what's today's question? What's with girl altar service? Well, if you remember back a number of years ago, Pope John Paul II allowed for girls to serve as altar service, not as acolytes. That's still reserved for young men and for boys because that's primarily seen as a kind of step along the way to priesthood. So there isn't really a sense of investiture. But girls were allowed to be present on the altar and to help with the celebration of the Mass in the ways that altar service do. Uh, I think it's a wonderful thing. I think it's a way of allowing young people to participate in the Mass in a way that they learn, because I'll tell you, that they, when kids start to serve, they, they start to learn a lot more about why we do things at Mass and why we celebrate. I'll also say that girls, just by their very nature, seem to be more attentive to what you're doing. They seem to pay attention. The boys can be a little bit scattered at times, but that's just uh, the, two of the, the, the two different natures, I think, of, uh, of girls and boys. And I, I think it's been a wonderful thing for our church to see the young ladies uh, up there uh, with their brothers and uh, all their friends celebrating the Mass. Now, there are some who are concerned about it. They say that uh, boys are discouraged from serving because they don't want to serve with girls. Well, I think uh, there are ways of handling that. For example, I know in a number of places that uh, they make sure that the boys have as much of a role or they make sure that always, there's always two or three boys as well as two or three girls, so it's never one boy with like three girls or something like that. It's also, there are others who say that, uh, you know, alt servers is a way of promoting vocations, that if we more or less kind of say it's not just the boys are going to do it, then that way working with just the boys and encouraging them to celebrate Mass, that they're going to, in a sense, you're encouraging them to become an altar server. Well, as someone who taught in the seminary for years and as someone who's ordained myself, I, I can tell you that most of the men, when you say, why did you become a priest, they don't tell you because I was an altar server. It may have been part of the makeup, but there are other ones there who never served Mass before, you know. And uh, in the way it moves forward, I still haven't seen the results. Do, does this, can someone prove or show that, in fact, boys being servers can, is going to lead to greater vocations? To, uh, does it mean that, if that may be the case, then why do you still have to not have a girl off to service? I, I often just encourage as much as possible um, the girls to participate in the Mass as servers. I think um, it's a way of welcoming them to the table, a way of saying that they have an important role in the liturgy that they're not second-class citizens because they're girls. I also think that um, in many instances, most of the men who become priests will tell you that they were encouraged by their mothers and by their grandmothers, more so oftentimes than by their fathers. And I look to the future and I say, I want to encourage these girls to, to see the church as inviting, to see the church as something that they can be a part of, and I don't want to encourage them to see it as something that from which they're separate or something from which they're not invited because down the road, these are the mothers and the grandmothers and the aunts who hopefully are going to encourage their vocations of their sons and their nephews and their grandsons. And one way I think that could hurt that is by closing the door in a ministry which is already open for them by saying, you can't because you're just a girl. I think that the best thing for us to say is, you can because you are a girl. My name is Bishop Christopher Coyne. Thank you for joining me.